Yo, what is going on guys? It is AJ Pants here. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new around here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect the PS5 DualSense controller to your PC without DS4 Windows. In today's video, we're going to be using an app called DualSense X. I have spoke about this app previously regarding the adaptive trigger software it also has implemented into it. But today we're just talking about it as an app just to run your PS5 controller. Now the reason why I am talking about this is because I know that DS4 Windows works for so many people but it also doesn't work for a lot of people and I'm not sure why that is. But even if it does work for you, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of DS4 users want to move over to DualSense X. And I'm not shitting on DS4 at all because I've been using DS4 consistently for a very long time and I've never ever had an issue with it. I love that app. The reason why I say this is because, well, DualSense X has just got a lot more features to offer. So if you just want to connect your controller to the PC, then DS4 is a great option. But if you want to do a lot more of your controller, then DualSense X is going to be where you want to go. So I'm going to show you guys how to download the app, set it up, it's super simple, so let's jump straight into it. And we're going to come over here to GitHub. I'll leave the link for this in the description so you guys can find it easily. Big shout out to Paliverse who is the creator of this app. And to download it, you just want to click on this link here, the DualSense X. Once you've clicked this, it will download a zip file, which will need to be opened in any zip software that you have. So all you want to do is then just go ahead and double click on this, and that will open up the app. I already have it downloaded right here, so that's why I haven't clicked it. I'm just going to go ahead and open the app now. And you'll see my controller is connected to the thing, but you just heard that. That is because my controller has instantly been picked up by this app. So now my controller is connected, and I'll show you guys proof. We're just going to click on controller. And if you just look at the screen and also look at what I'm doing on the control, it is mimicking exactly what I am doing, which is excellent. So yeah, any button I press is being shown on there as it should. And it is that easy. I just have to plug the wire in because my control died. Another cool feature on that, it tells you how much battery you have, and I should have seen. It says 0% when it was connected via Bluetooth. So yeah, my control died. But anyways, other than just being able to connect your control and play games, and by the way, I'll actually show you proof that you can play games. I'll open up uh, Call of Duty so you can see that it's working. It also has the adaptive trigger software, which we're not really going to get into right now. I have a completely separate video on that. If you want to watch it, it'll be uh, right up here somewhere. And I'll also leave it linked in the description so you guys can check that out. But it is basically just a bunch of different options you can use for adaptive triggers here. And then also it has the controller LED option, which if I can get the camera to focus, as you can see, the LEDs are currently on in rainbow mode, which is what I like. You know, I love my RGB, but you can also click static color and then you can just go through all of these different colors and change it to whichever one you want. And it will go to that color. Another really, really cool feature. I like to just leave it in rainbow mode. And it also has the mic LED that you can turn on. As you just saw, that's turned on. You can put it to pulse, so it'll pulse it just like that. Or you can turn it off, which I prefer to do. And it also has an option to turn the player LEDs on. You can put all of them on, one of them on, or five or whatever. Uh, I like to turn the leaders off as well. And you can then also change the brightness. If I just put that on, put the mic LED on, so you can see the brightness go down, just like that. We'll leave that off. And not only that, this app has actually got a built-in game so you can test out the controller without opening an actual game. So you just go over here to the games function, you click view game, it will open up the game and you can go ahead and test that controller. And just to further prove to you guys quickly that I am not using DS4, here we have DS4 Windows open. If it was running, it will be uh, on stop. So if I click it, and you can see my controller is now connected. And if I click stop, my controller is disconnected, but it is still working on the DualSense X app. So I'll go ahead and open up, um, what should I open up? Open up COD since I've got that installed right now. I think I need to upgrade Siege still. Okay, so we're now in the game and I'll show you guys this is working. So you have press shoot button, it shoots. I press the aim button, it aims. So I press reload, it reloads. If I'm jumping around, it's gonna jump in the game. And it works exactly how you'd expect your controller to work. No complaints there. So yeah, I mean, this is just an alternative. I think DS4 Windows will be better in terms of input lag. I think DS4 Windows probably has less input lag than this. But this is a really good option for those people that can't get the controller to connect via DS4 Windows. Um, this is the only alternative I know of so far that actually does work. So it's definitely worth a try. And again, it's not only that you can connect your control to it, but you can also set up the adaptive trigger software. And if you do want to continue using DS4 Windows, which I probably will still use DS4 Windows because like I said before, the input lag on DS4 is going to be lower. It is still really cool to couple this up with DS4. So what I'll do is I'll use DS4 Windows, but I'll also use this app to get the adaptive triggers working, to get the rainbow LEDs on my controller, 
and that way you get the best of both worlds but there you go guys that is the DualSense X app go ahead and download it and let me know what you think of it and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn on bell notifications got more videos just like this and I'll see you guys in the next one Peace. I don't wanna look back I don't wanna like that I've been going too fast all the girls like that and the fake ones wanna see my pulse go